Hello everyone and welcome back to another video by J Madden. It's been a while since I did an update on the reef tank. Uh, the last real update I did was back in November 2014, I believe it was on the 25th. And then the most recent video that I put out was just a little snapshot and that was back February 25th. And I've been getting a lot of requests through personal messaging and in some of the comments on other videos asking where are the tank updates? So here it was time. I've been really busy doing home renovations, yard renovations on the house. So I haven't really had a lot of time to dedicate to YouTube making regular updates on the reef tank, but I'll try and do my best to get updates out. Uh, so pretty much full tank shot here. Tank is doing really well overall. Had some alkalinity issues just due to a little bit of neglect on my part. And that's caused some of the bases of some of my SPS to bleach out. I just don't have the time to baby the system like I have in the past. But there is all kinds of new growth at the same time as that little bit of bleaching at the base of some of the SPS corals. So... I'm not too concerned at this point because uh, overall everything is pretty healthy. Uh, a lot has changed in the tank. I've got a couple new additions to the system and I've moved several things around in here. Uh, we just had to do that due to the way things were growing. Uh, I did lose one coral, a larger SPS colony. Uh, it just started to decline and just went away. But other than that, everything else seems to be doing pretty well. Go ahead and just talk about the fish first and then some of the other updates as far as the refugium and some of the new corals and things and got a couple new things in here and I'll get into those, one of which I'm really excited about. So go ahead and get into it, start breaking it down, do this old school, no cutting, raw, uncut. So here we go. So as you can see in here, the blue tang has really grown, fat, happy, not showing any signs of Vic at all. Fish are getting a little excited because I'm getting close to the tank here, thinking they're going to get fed. Uh, but anyway, they're going to have to wait. Uh, the, the naso, doing really well. The fish has gotten thick. Purple tang has grown so much. Fish is wide, I'm telling you. I don't know if we'll be able to get a shot of them. They're getting a little aggro. <laughs> Look at all the fish are gathering. Um, one of the interesting things that's going on in here is that the clownfish are spawning again. You know, they're putting their eggs right under this little rock ledge. I don't know if you can see it. You can see the male up there tending to them. Should be hatching in a day or so. It's really exciting. Yellow eye coal tang, flame angel, pair of bang guy cardinals. They're doing well. I may have to get rid of one because they are fighting constantly. The bigger one is always chasing the smaller one. And I do have a new fish addition in here that's kind of cool. One of those dragon face pipefish. Tank has been established for a while. Lots of small little things. Little critters, copods, amphipods, and stuff living in the system. I do have some black bugs on my Montipora and a couple other little small micro inverts growing on my cor living on my corals. So hopefully this guy will help take care of those. He's been in the system for a few days, doing well, getting acclimated, moving around quite a bit. Have another new addition in here that I'll get into here in a little bit. You may have seen some other videos, uh, but here's something else that's interesting. Got a little sea urchin in here. This is like one of those Halloween urchins, only it's not orange. Same exact thing. Uh, doesn't eat coralline algae. Doesn't pick up a bunch of hitchhiking rock rubble. So pretty awesome. All the corals overall are growing, doing well. Like I said, aside from a little bit of bleaching at the bases. Uh, so just kind of give you a little tour here. I had to move this Monty up top because it was over here in this section and it was just growing. 
like crazy and it was probably about a quarter of an inch away from the glass and you know I didn't want to frag it or cut it so I just moved it moved the rock flower anemone over there the e crucifier anemone and it hasn't missed a beat doesn't move at all has never moved from the rock where I placed it when I redid all the rock in the tank but the thing this uh Monty is pretty big now um, as you remember, it was kind of a white color with blue polyps. Now it's greened up and has blue polyps, and it's about 10 inches across, almost 11 now. Tricolor Valida is doing great. You can see all the growth on the back wall there, where it's just starting to encrust all kinds of new growth, as you can see. Obviously, the flow in the tank is from left to right, as you see it here, so you can kind of see the way the growth has happened. Small and stubby on the left, big and branchy on the right. And this is fairly new. We've got this uh, photosynthetic gorgonian. Kind of wanted one for a while. Did a trade it on with one of my bubble tip anemones because I had so many and they just keep splitting. So I traded it in, got this, and got that sea urchin that you just saw and that pipefish for one anemone. So can't complain there. Symphilia wellsani on the bottom left is doing awesome. Blastomosa wellsies are doing pretty good. They were over there to the right of that. Um, red and white acan just below that uh, SPS up there, that Montipora and Dada. Uh, I was getting a little too much light, so I moved it. Yeah, these guys are all doing good too, these uh, acans. Lots of mushrooms. Big old fat naso submarine. Of course, clownfish. There's a small bubble tip in there that just recently split off about a week or so ago. What else we got going on in here? Come around this, I don't think you've ever seen a perspective from over here, but kind of look down the tank. Coraline algae is doing really well. Did have one thing happen with the uh, wet side on this MP40. It seized up on me in the night. I think a snail got in there and it just burned up. So I had to replace that. That was a nice $70 hit right there, but working well ever since. Pump hasn't missed a beat. Still love these pumps, love the flow. I want to show you one of the new additions in here. As you've been watching the videos of the uh, bamboo, brown banded bamboo shark, he's hatched and he's in the main display. Let's see if we can coax him out a little bit here in a minute. But first I'll bring you down here to the, below the tank. And you're going to look over here on the right side, and you're going to see three controllers, but there's only two MP40s, right? Well, I went ahead and put an MP10 in here in the refugium to get a little more flow. This flow has kept the cyano from growing and also keeps a good water movement across the deep sand bed that's down here. It's about three inches deep. And this was all set up because I had the the baby shark down here. I hatched him out down here, kept him down here until he was feeding regularly and aggressively so he could compete a little bit up top in the main display. But yeah, you know the skimmers skimming. We can get the focus. Uh, yeah, anyway. The EV-180 is still doing really well. Have the pump for the chiller plumbed directly to the main display. You can see it up there, that uh, rotating jet right there, that's from the chiller. And it maintains the temperature a little bit better. So I was having it just dump directly back into here, into the into this chamber here. But yeah, everything is doing good. I actually have baby, uh, what are they called, those uh, Nasaria snails. Uh, living in the deep sand bed here. It's pretty cool. Uh, so apparently they've been breeding and reproducing in the main display and they travel down here and they're starting to populate. So that's actually pretty cool. So I said I would show you the bamboo, brown banded bamboo shark. Oh, there's the pipe fish again. That's just really cool. Can you focus? There you go. Cool, cool fish. Yeah, that's so what I'll do is I'll just, I've got a little bit of uh, mysis in this cup. I'll just take a squirt of that. I'll put it, put it in here. 
and this ought to pass through the system without kicking up too much bubbles from the skimmer. And he'll see if he comes out and start showing himself. There we go. And there he is. He's about eight and a half inches right now and doing really well, fat, happy. You can see how energetic he is. Gets fed every other day, a good bit of mysis. And some of you might be asking, why would you keep him in here in the small tank? Well, you know, this was originally supposed to be a coral cat shark, which grows about half the length of this one. Uh, but this one came in as a brown banded bamboo. So you know, I'm kind of stuck with them for now. Do you have a 180 gallon in the works? but still won't be enough long-term for him. So, you know, that's something that's going to have to be figured out. But yeah, really cool, cool guy. Pretty active at night, but only really gets active whenever there's the scent of food in the water. Check him out. You can put your hand in the water and he'll just kind of hang out and you can actually pick him up and pet him. It's pretty cool. But I really do enjoy this guy, you know, having hatched him from an egg and him eating and doing so well, a lot of people say it's tough to do, uh, but I didn't have any issues, you know, common sense goes a long way, so, so yeah, that's everything that's going on pretty much, you know, still running the metal halides on top of here, may switch out for the T5s as the summer months approach, and that's it, that's the tank. More of taste to come in the future. Thanks for watching. Enjoy your tanks. Happy reefing.